Despite my lactose intolerance, I love ice cream. Also, I love liquid nitrogen. Today, we're gonna to use this cool liquid to make three different types of delicious creamy treats. So why use liquid nitrogen for making ice cream? It's cause it's super awesome and that's reason enough. But actually there's three culinary reasons why I think that using liquid nitrogen is better than the more traditional ways of churning ice cream. The first benefit is that you're able to make ice cream faster. The old rock salt ones that we used when I was a kid, they can take over 50 minutes to make your ice cream, which is a long time to wait. These bowl type, which is what we traditionally use, you freeze the bowl and then come out and churn it. These take about 25 minutes, but liquid nitrogen, it can make a batch in just a few minutes. That way you get your ice cream faster. Beep, beep. Second, a byproduct of the faster freezing with liquid nitrogen is that the ice crystals are smaller and smaller crystals means a smoother, creamier ice cream. Third, you can make as much ice cream as you have liquid nitrogen for. When you use these pre-frozen bowls, you only get to churn once and then you gotta plop it back in the freezer and let it freeze overnight. For the first recipe, we're gonna use a stand mixer and a paddle attachment. I really like these ones that have the rubber sides that scrape along the edge, but you can use a normal one too if you don't have that. Also, you'll need your liquid nitrogen and then also an ice cream base. For the ice cream base, you can use a premix or you can make your own from scratch. Down in the description, I'll have a link to my website where I have a page that has all the ice cream recipes that I'll be using. And what I did with those is I turned them into calculators so you can put in how much ice cream you want and it'll tell you the quantity of ingredients to put in to make that much ice cream. This method is super simple. Take your paddle and attach it to the stand mixer and then add in your ice cream base. Turn on the mixer to medium speed and then just drizzle in slowly your liquid nitrogen as it freezes up. If you add it too fast, you're gonna get chunks and it won't be as smooth and creamy. So just that little drizzle until it's as hard as you want your ice cream. This method needs even less equipment. We need a bowl with rounded sides, our liquid nitrogen, and then some sort of containers that we can do drops of ice cream from. I find that condiment containers work really well. I do recommend though for this one that you use a soft serve ice cream base. This method is gonna make an ice cream very similar to Dippin' Dots. Take your liquid nitrogen and pour it into your bowl. You want that to stop boiling really rapidly and so once it's settled down, you can take your ice cream in the containers and drop it into there one drop at a time. I recommend doing it off to the side a little bit so the ice cream will freeze when it hits the liquid nitrogen and then roll down the sides. That way you don't get huge clumps of ice cream. After you've made the ice cream, you can dump off the excess liquid nitrogen into another container or you can just let it boil off. And then you probably wanna let this ice cream warm up a little bit. It's really cold and will stick to your tongue. So you could even just stick it in your freezer and then eat it later once it's warmed up or just let it warm up a little bit on your counter. All right, this recipe is a little bit weird and the most complicated. You're gonna need a whipped cream siphon, two or three CO2 cartridges. You want a bowl, a spoon, your liquid nitrogen and root beer float syrup base. Again, the link to the recipes on my website is in the description. Put your root beer float base into your whipped cream siphon and then add one cartridge of CO2. With your siphon standing upright, you wanna let out the gas from the siphon so that you only have CO2 in there and no more oxygen and nitrogen. If you're using a pint size, add another cartridge of CO2. If it's quart or liter size, you wanna add two cartridges. From there, you wanna let this chill in an ice bath for 15 to 20 minutes. The longer you let it chill, the more carbonation you'll have. When that's ready, dump in your liquid nitrogen into your bowl, and then also put your metal spoon in there. Let the boiling subside, and then you can take your siphon, and with it upside down, take your spoon out of the liquid nitrogen and put a dollop on there, and then dip that into the liquid nitrogen. Leave it there for four to six seconds, flip it over for another four to six seconds, and then take it out. You can eat these just in one quick bite, but one note, if you notice a crack in it or they're extra heavy and liquid nitrogen has gotten into it, do not eat them. Put it in your freezer for a couple of hours and then you can eat it once the nitrogen boils off. This was so much fun and I loved making all three of these different ice creams. Let me know down in the comments which you thought was the most unique. 
Also, if you end up making some ice cream, tag me on Instagram at build it, make it. I would love to see what you can come up with. Thanks so much for watching and take care.